This is a video about growing squash in a bucket. Squash, uh, whether it's zucchini, yellow squash, crookneck squash, Hubbard squash, acorn squash, any all the different varieties of pumpkins, um, they all are very shallow rooted. So instead of planting in a garden bed or uh, having to dig out your lawn and put soil in to um, plant the pumpkins and to allow, allow space for them, what you can simply do is plant a plant in a bucket and or even just a seed or two in a bucket and uh, grow your plants that way. Um, the cool thing about this is you can have them wherever. Um, this is out front of my house and um, as you can see there's plenty of space that it can spread around to as the vines start uh, spreading and note the vines do spread quite a lot on these squash plants so you wouldn't want to put this on a tiny patio or other space where things can't uh, spread out. Um, I do know there's ways to trellis some of these smaller squashes. You could try that if you were in a patio but uh, far better if you've got a bit of ground space for it to spread on. Um, the bonus too with having it spread on this as opposed to grass is that once the vegetables are uh, growing and if they're coming off these vines and growing on the ground then when they're growing on something like this and it could be even be pavement that um, it is not going to uh, less likely for the plant the vegetables to mold because they're not going to be in contact with wet grass um, this particular one is a yellow squash plant and I just bought a small, one little small start and put it in this pot, um, this bucket rather. This bucket is from uh, Walmart, it's just a utility bucket, cost me like, I don't know, maybe three bucks. Now vital, 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 vital is that you drill a bunch of decent sized holes in the bottom of the bucket which will allow drainage. If you don't do that you will kill the plant because it'll the soil will get too saturated. Uh, so definitely drill all your holes first thing as soon as you get your bucket. Um, then what I usually do is I put a layer of mulch or I put even some smaller rocks in the bottom there and that kind of just gives a bit extra air space there for to um, to help with drainage. Then uh, what I did was I layered in my compost and my soil then I put in um, the plant and then on top of the soil which helps retain moisture and prevent weeds is to put um, some uh, mulch or wood chips on top. So this is just a mulch but as you can see this has been growing. I'll have to look online and see when I uh, initially planted this but um, it's just been a couple months I think but with all the sun and heat we've had lately it's really started to grow as you can see it's kind of crazy and um, the the speed of these little guys this little one was the size of like a fingernail a couple of days ago and now it's already like an inch and a half long there's another one down there so there's like let's see one two three four five six seven there's like eight squash already on here um, and as you'll see these are the uh, male flowers that will come up here, the long stalks. And then uh, the shorter ones are the female flowers, which will have a little tiny vegetable on them. And what happens is the bees take the pollen from here to there and pollinate, and that's how you end up with the vegetable growing. Uh, so yeah, so try this out. It's a really awesome way to uh, grow your squash. And I think my phone just died. 